Hello, friends. And welcome to Drunk Book Club. My name is Sarah. And my name is Chandler. And tonight we'll be discussing God of Small Things. Shall we begin? We shall. That, um, okay. I didn't technically finish it. I am still reading it, so I don't really know what happens. I've inferred some things. So this is going to be like, it's like you watching it and finding out what this book is about. I'm going to be interacting and finding out what this book is about. And it's going to ruin it for me, and I might not actually continue reading it. Anyways, keep going. A big twist. Rahel and Esther, the Love twins. Them. When they meet again 30 years later, when they're old. Please don't tell me they become in a relationship with each other. They f*** each other. Oh, I knew it! Do they really have sex with each other? We be of one blood, thou and I. I am so surprised. Holy sh surprise incest. It wasn't, it wasn't surprise incest. It, really it was isn't. expected incest. I'm not very surprised. I don't mean to be racist. I mean racist time, but... Oh wait, yeah, this book is set in India. The book, is, the book is set in India. Big time in India. Depressing. The first 20 pages or so are really hard to get through because they introduce about 15 characters all at once. A, they, none, of them, none of them have Anglo-Saxon sounding names. Nope. And B, Indian. you're not really yes. sure who each character is as you're introducing them. And <laughs> Because they're basically like... So you, you get like really small glimpses, glimpses of them Snippets. at the beginning, and literally the entire time I was like, "What? Who are who?" The fourth page says she was Rahel's baby grand aunt, her grandfather's younger sister. Her name is really you... Navomi, and it's like, "What? Who? who? What are you talking about?" What has always been confusing to me the whole book is why that bitch of a woman <gasps> is named Baby. Baby Kachama? Oh my god. Why is she, you want to kill her. She's the worst person she's you've ever met. She's the worst and character. she's encapsulated in this book. Worst oh person you've ever met. Book. This book. So right bad. Here. A lot of the cast stuff is in here. I, mean, I think it's really important. Like, I feel like people kind of like yeah. sh shine over that. Like, not shine. Like, they gloss. They, thank you. Same thing as Sean. They gloss over the fact that India has this huge cast issues. People are yeah. untouchable. And the cops just like run over them and just like break their bones and just like, oh, Valutha, and they kick him in the face and they basically kill him in front of the kids. Why? Because they were like, oh, Valutha, he's an untouchable, therefore he killed Sophie Mall. What is this book? And the twins, incest. I didn't even know what was going to happen. Incest. Circle of life. Their childhood is so messed up. Like, basically, basically, racist? That's not racist. They have a lot of cultural problems. Did you not read the lines where, like, they went home and beat their wives? I mean, like, okay. a lot of... That is true. We should visit India. Haven't you visited India? Bangladesh is not India. It's close to it, isn't it? And geographically? Geographically, yes. There you go, geographically, I am right. It has extreme poverty and stuff. And Everyone has extreme poverty. Not a, yeah, it's true. America even does. Don't go to West Virginia. Just don't. Honestly, like this book is lovely. The descriptions are amazing. It's, she's mm. a great writer. Like the amount of poetry she puts in this book is just like, and I really feel like that is the shit that people should be writing right now. People need to write more books like this. I feel like if we're gonna have a literary movement, it should be books that are basically poetry. But books. Yeah. Especially since nobody reads poetry anymore. Yeah, because poetry sucks. Hey! But like, hey! If you hey. can, like, a person like me has a hard time appreciating poetry, but I really love novels. Mm -hmm. And when they, like, combine poetry and novels, Symphony. like, so many novels are just like plot, 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 plot. It was depressing and not, like, a terribly, like, Burn in this way. Okay, read it, but don't beat yourself up. Okay, so how many martini glasses out of five would you give this book? I'll give it three martinis. Right? So that was fantastic. I will give it four martini glasses. When I put it down, I, was just, I just sat there and was just like, it's the kind of novel that like changes your life. Yeah, kind of pickly. 
You know what I mean. It's a metaphor. Pickly? Yeah. You put it in a jar and leave it there for a while? Why are you so little? You don't even understand. You need to calm your tits. Even if you're pulling something out. Calm your tits! That was disgusting. It was not inappropriate. inappropriate. Twincest is inappropriate. Yeah, I honestly don't know how what to do with that. Wouldn't it be funny if it was actually sober book club and we were just kidding and we weren't actually drunk? The whole time, April Fool's uh, Day. If April Fool's comes on a Friday, we should totally... We do drunk book club. Drunk book club. Oh, sober funny? book club. Fool, April Fool's prank. I feel like that wouldn't be good. We could just be sober.